Okay, so um, this is just going to be a really brief tutorial that covers how to compose multi view drawings um, that are scanned into the computer on a single uh, page. So over here in InDesign, I'm going to make a new document. Click Create New. Make sure that I'm in inches, and I'm going to use an Arc D or 24 by 36. One page, and uh, yeah, half inch margin should be fine. Go ahead and click create. Okay, so just like with any other document, now we have our page. I can begin to place scans in there. This is a scan of the, of the plan. Um, if you want to, you can choose to um, clean up your scans in Photoshop. Um, so, you know, find that um, there's a lot of dirt uh, that the scanner's picking up from your page. You can you know, bring it into Photoshop and try and play with the contrast, save it back out. But anyway, so this one it should go fine. Drag it in. And I'm just going to click once so as not to fail. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a couple ways, you know, hopefully you know the size of your scan based on the page size. Um, but we can also go ahead and measure uh, the size of our um, drawing and then, you know, determine the appropriate scale that way. One. Here. I forgot where the measure tool was, but it should be here under the eyedropper there. And you can also get to it by pressing K keyboard. Into my plan here. I remember this is low quality preview, that's not the actual quality. And as soon as you uh, as soon as you click, it'll bring up this info panel. Well, it'll us. That's uh, what measurements we're actually getting. I'm also holding shift. I can Rhino to snap to a straight line. Okay. And so that was 6.2 inches. Now, I, I'll be honest, I don't know the actual size that this uh, house is supposed to be. So let's just guess that it's, uh, I don't know, 25 feet. And that this drawing is meant to be at a, at a quarter of an inch. I bring up my calculator. Um, so 25 uh, divided by four. So the drawing should appear at six and a quarter inches. Did I actually say my point two? Point two two. Um, so basically what we want to do is uh, scale it uh, to the right dimension uh, by uh, determining our, uh, the way we determine our scale factor is we take the measurement that we want a certain distance to be and we divide it by the measurement that it is. That's our scale factor. So we want that dimension to be six and a quarter. At present it is 6.22. What we'll do is we'll take six. Gives us a pretty small scale factor, but I'll just copy that. So then I can select my drawing, right click, go to transform, and go to scale. And so in here, we scale by percentage. And so, you know, rather than scale to 1.0, blah, 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 I'm going to scale to 100 point, uh, point uh, let's go to like 0.482. 100.4823. And as long as this little link thing is uh, is already clicked, it should just copy that same uh, scale factor to the Y dimension. There you can see pretty small adjustment there, but it is should be pretty precise too. But now, there, and it's pretty close to six inches. 
this is what we're going to get. Um, okay, so uh, we know that that drawing is appropriately scaled. And uh, of course, in InDesign, we can move it around on the page. We can change the cropping boundary. Scale it down. All right, and what I'll do next is I'll bring in sections. So if I wanted to align a couple of sections, this. I'll just do the same. I'll click somewhere on the page. And I mean, there's a couple ways that we could do the same exact thing. We could measure scale, scale factor. Um, but because we're actually, what we're doing is we're composing multi-view multi drawings. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just draw a couple of really light construction lines in here uh, to, to line up my section to so uh, go to the line tool and I'll select the stroke uh, panel that I'll just start with one. The other thing that I'm going to do is actually make a new layer here. So I'll go to the layers panel. Again, all, all, all these panels are available under the window drop down menu. If you don't see one of these panels, just go to window and you should locate it there. I'm going to make a new layer. Oh, I'm sorry, what am I doing? Delete, create new layer, okay. <laughs> yeah, um, okay, so again with my uh, line tool selected a little bit. And also I could go to a little sharper there, up right. And I'm just gonna, I like that. As you can see, it's pretty, Dark line, so it down there. Five. There we go. Actually, I forgot we're just gonna rotate. This line there. Turn off over print preview because it's slow. All right, so I can scale that line up. And I can copy it by control, copy, control, paste. You can also just move it. Hold Alt on the keyboard. You can see the cursor doubles up there. I'm just kidding. And so then, you know, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different sections on the same page. So I'm just going to go ahead and crop it right here in InDesign. And again, the reason that I made a separate layer there is so that I can, I can like lock that layer. So the construction lines I just drew are on that layer. So now every time I move my image around, it's pretty easy to kind of keep it. Uh, I'm sorry, just to move it without, you know, messing up alignment. I don't know why this box appeared suddenly with blackout. And I'm also, it looks like my rotation's a little bit off here. So, so you can see what I'm talking about there. You know, and this will definitely happen with your scans, probably. Uh, you can see that the vertical on the wall isn't quite perfectly straight on my page. I'm gonna, what I did there is I, I double click inside my, inside that drawing there. So now you can see I have the image selected, not the cropping boundary. And I'm gonna go to right click, transform, and I'm gonna go to rotate. And with rotate, I'm also gonna try preview. Much. Start with 
And I'm just, I, I have the same thing selected, but I'm using the arrow keys now. Okay, once I'm happy with that, look outside the window again. Oh, exit selection there. So, uh, and then, you know, now I have this all set up, I can go ahead and scale it. And if we wanted to, if we wanted to get really quite a little quicker, we just uh, rarely our cropping boundary. To the edge of the drawing, so we go turn off of again. Readjust my cropping boundary. And so, yeah, the other thing with this drawing, I guess I should point out right there, we see the edge of the next section drawing. So we'd have to actually go into Photoshop and clean that up. This, but anyway. Um, so there you have it. That's lining up uh, multi view drawings in uh, um, design. So you can do that with any number of drawings on a page with whatever scale necessary. And obviously you can also add titles and you can add scales, north arrows, etc. cetera, uh, all within, well. Um, so that's just a quick um, lesson on composing uh, multi-view drawings.